Welcome back, guys, to uh, the Mindcrack server. We're in spawn once again. Or rather, you could say we're in spawn still. Been in spawn for quite a while. Haven't worked on the Death Starter house in a while. I've been focusing on these spawn projects. Um, we're going to be doing some map making today. Some more laid back, easy map making. We're going to do something of a incomplete server tour. And it's getting close to Halloween. And oh my god, this thing is. I love it. It's amazing. Generic B is building this, and I'm assuming by the time you see this episode, he's already posted something about this, so I'm not spoiling anything. This looks fantastic. This is going to be like a temporary shop. I think he said it's going to have Halloween costumes that you can come in and buy. Um, at least one of them will have a wither skull. Oh, yeah, look at these guys. And he's obviously not finished yet. Anyway, this is not the focus of the episode. I just happened to be walking past it and wanted to point it out because it it looks really funny anyway we're gonna be doing some mapping we're going to do the little individual did the roads change here i think they did or rather they've become a little bit more organized maybe yeah i think this this is new right or is it not so, something is new something is throwing me off here we're going over the map room. We have uh, we have a problem that we need to talk about. Houston, we have a problem. We are creating lag on the server. So there is a problem with item frames causing lag, and in particular, maps in item frames causing lag. And over there, I have uh, 49 maps in 49 item frames, and then something like 70 other item frames just sitting around. And you may not be able to tell on YouTube, uh, but facing this way, I have a normal amount of frames per second, anywhere around 60 or so I tend to hover at. If I look here, it drops to 20 immediately. And a lot of people have a lot worse lag than what I'm getting. And it actually, I've been doing some stuff around here, it is actually giving me a headache. So I'm assuming it's making other people feel even worse. So at the end of this episode, we will be taking these down. The issue causing them lag is fixed in 1.7 and the snapshots as well. So when we update to the snapshots, we'll put it back up. And that'll be a pretty cool thing to do because it'll be the new uh, stitched together map view. And um, I kind of like to do that uh, to get the first glimpse of that. <laughs> I just want to be greedy about it. But today, I want to go around and fill out some of these maps here and then update the colors so that they work with the grid. Now, we're not going to do everyone this episode. I don't know where everyone lives. And so I think what we'll do, we'll do like a partial server tour, and we'll just go to people's houses that are easy to find um, that actually have houses. Some people, like I don't think Etho has a house besides Etho Corp, and that doesn't really count because it's a spawn building. Um, he did set aside that canyon... A long time ago, but maybe at this point he's waiting for 1.7 to build a house somewhere in one of the biomes. Uh, anyway, so we're going to do a partial server tour. And I think to keep it simple, we're going to start with uh, the spawn village and b -O, Because b -O's house is right there. It's easy to get to. And I have, I think that should, yeah, that'll be enough maps for the day. Because I do want to make a backup of each one. And in the event that we lose one, uh, these will be very easy to replace. None of them are going to be expanded. And they're just going to be uh, a single map, not like multiple maps stitched together. So much less complicated. All of the really grindy, complicated map making is finished, thank God. And we can just get to the fun stuff. So let's come over here and let's make a spawn map. We can reorient this at a later date, I guess, if uh, maybe it doesn't look good or if it looks off-center or something. Um, but I think what we'll do today is we'll just make it right around here with the town hall kind of in the center, more or less. Or maybe, I guess, the road going through the town uh, going or going by the town hall in the center. And it doesn't really matter because it's going to center in the chunk anyway. So, and zing. Oh, yeah. Um, hmm. Maybe we do want to expand that one. 
Yeah, because that's not going to show very much. So maybe we will actually expand that one. Um, I don't have any paper. Let's go over here and grab some paper. There should be some over here. And if not, I can just grab some of the reeds in the farm building, because that's what it's for. And we can expand it. We'll expand this one once, and that won't take very long to explore. But all the other ones will be this size, and that should be adequate. I don't know if anyone has um has a house big enough to require expanding yet. Maybe Arcus, possibly, or Adlington's castle. I'm not, I haven't been to his castle in a while. I'm not sure how big it's gotten. That's enough. And then we, basically what I'll be doing is I'll write down the coordinates and write down the map number. And I'm going to be keeping these on like a sheet of paper as well, just in case I need to recall them at any point if the maps get jumbled up, because we're going to be taking them down. So I need to kind of, I kind of need to know. So we're going to say that this one, yeah, I think that'll be good. Uh, okay, so this one is 266, and I'll just write that down. And I didn't write down the coordinates, but I guess that's not too important. Um, this will be 266. And for all the future ones besides this one and B00, I'll just write them down off camera. You write down the coordinates off camera, and we're going to basically go look at people's stuff. Then we're going to, uh, it's, it, I guess the, the episode is going to jump around a little bit because I'm going to do a clip at everybody's house that I uh, end up going to. And then we'll reconvene at the map room with all the completed ones and update all the colors. Man, I, I still have a headache. Every time I look at the map room now, it just, it, like, the headache comes back. So I definitely need to take that down today. Um, several people said something about it. I was like, really? I've never noticed lag. <laughs> you know, because I've been the one around it all the time. And I never really noticed lag until now. And yeah, it's pretty it's pretty damn bad. It's pretty damn bad. And this map, I guess this is okay. We're going to have the big, don't forget we're gonna have the big map room or map wall of spawn village on the other side. So this is just sort of a tiny representation of where spawn is. It may not even be necessary. I may take it down if we run out of spots or something. Three statues. Ooh, fangs. Nice fangs. Alucard there. The gems. I still don't know what this thing is. Some kind of crazy high dive thing. Okay, that's done. Good. Uh, let's head over to B00's house. And I'll just stick that right there. B00 lives over here. And we're starting with him... Um, I'm going to do the rest alphabetically, or the whole thing will be alphabetical, but I'm starting with him just because it's convenient. Am I going the right way? Uh, oh yeah, that's the back. Okay, that's the back. Yes, I am. I questioned my sense of direction there for a second, but this is correct. And the world is not loading in. Oh, there we go. I think that may be one of the things they're fixing in 1.7, or at least I hope so. I know they've updated the rendering engine quite extensively. So hopefully this, like, little patches of missing ground and stuff, hopefully that will be going away. Because it does sort of, it breaks the immersion factor a bit when you have to stop and wait for things to reload or log out and log back in. Anyway, here's his house, and I guess I want to get on top of it so that we can center the map there. Does it have uh, an easy way to get up there? Like a ladder or something? There's nothing in there. I was wondering, is this one of his, like, Death Games traps? Not the most subtle trap ever, but I guess if someone's rushing in to murder your face... Oh, we don't have to get on top. We can just do this. Right? Okay. Um, what's the actual medium, or, uh, you know, center point? Yeah, maybe something like this. I guess this red thing in the center is, is kind of close. Maybe like this. Okay, whatever. Oh. Um, 
No, I want to be further this way. Why did it center me like that? I want it to be... Hmm, is it just going to do... Let's try this again. So I'm going to walk over here. I thought it would center you in the middle of the chunk you're in. Uh, maybe that's not the case. Maybe these uh, this scale of map is always, you know, at a, you know, eight chunk by eight chunk location. Let's make one right here. Let's see if I'm in the left edge of this one. Oh, I am. Okay. Well, that's interesting. You learn something new every day. So I'm not going to be able to really center these. I'm going to say that map doesn't look very good. It doesn't really adequately portray his house. It's probably because he used snow blocks and there's snow all over the place here. So it sort of blends in a little too much. Uh, but there's the map of his house. That is 267. Uh, damn, I, I was kind of hoping that they would look a little bit better than that. And we'll just put, uh, the coordinates I put obviously don't have to be the exact center of his house because it's not gonna center. So let's just go right here. And I'll write these down. 170, 497. Okay, all right, next house. So here is Adlington's place, and he has already built a silly amount of stuff. I'm not sure exactly how to center this, because I don't think I can get both of these in one thing. And the map's going to center the way it's going to center, I guess. I suppose that's the way it works. Why has he put all these stone bricks here? Is This, this is like the contours of the landscape. Uh, anyway, okay, let's just go ahead and make it and see what it looks like. The portal's there. I think this is his main actual house. Just a subsection of the total castle, though. And zing. Um, yeah, all right. I guess that's kind of the best that we can do. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and make another one over here and see, what it, see if it looks a little cooler. And I think, let's watch my little dot on the map. Yeah, we're going to be like in a whole different quadrant here. So let's come up next to this uh, church-looking building. Cathedral thing. That's 269. Oh, this is this looks like a model of a uh, like a flying buttress he's about to make. Here we go. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think maybe this one, because the roof is very discernible. So we'll use one of those. So this is Arcus's castle, or at least part of it, <laughs> that we can see from here. This thing is already gigantic, and I don't want to look at too much of it. I'm afraid I'm going to spoil something. I know he builds in large sections uh, ahead of time. So hopefully none of this is like spoilers. So I'm not actually going to look at that much. We're just going to see what it looks like on the map. I'm going to go right about here. And see what this map looks like. Look at He's... Damn. All right, Arcus. You're going to have the best map. <laughs> it's fine. Um, I think that's probably what everyone expected anyway. Number 271. But that... Yeah, that looks kind of impressive. That's kind of what I was hoping the uh, everyone's maps would look like. Magic well, throw in iron, get a wish, and maybe a price. <laughs> I think you probably know where we are just by the spelling of some of these words. We are at Anders Floating Island here. And where's his, there it is over there, his like uh, Sky Armada village thing. His uh, helicarrier, I guess. Airship is over there, and I guess we're gonna make a map here on this thing. I'm kind of wondering what it's gonna look like if we'll be able to tell that it's a floating island. Well, let's find out. Let's find out, shall we? And map making zing. Hmm. Yeah, we're right on the edge. Damn, that's unfortunate, but I guess that's okay. So that means if we went this way, the, the helicarrier thing might be in the center of its own map, or it might be on the edge too. But I think we'll go with this. That's that's pretty good. 
And here we are at Doc M 77's place with his giant basketball hoop and everything is purple. And things have, man, he's done a lot since I was here last. We weren't here not too long ago, or we were here not too long ago. All of this has been cleared out. Looks like the flattening is basically done. It looks like he's going to be moving the, the sea level one block lower. Maybe, maybe not. Anyway, uh, we're not here to lollygag and sightsee. We're here to make a map and look at the map and then put the map on a wall somewhere. Okay, let's come right about here and kersplunch. What's it look like? Looks like some shapes. But I guess a lot of them are going to be a little abstract like that. All right, next. And here is Jaysano's uh, partially constructed cubes made of snow thingy. What does it look like on the map? Oh, we're right on the edge. I guess that, that is just kind of unavoidable, unfortunately. Now, look at that. There's a bit down there that is not explored. You must be, you must have to spawn it right on the edge for that to happen. Let's see if we can fill it out by walking over here. Yeah, I think so. I think that will do the trick. Okay, so there's Jusano. It's, uh, it's not completed. Obviously, we can come back and update these as people make progress on their builds. And I'm sure you know where we are now. This is Vintage Beef's Snowflake Floating Island Resort, whatever. And I, I'm kind of curious to see what this one looks like. I think it'll be one of the better ones. That's my prediction anyway. Because of the regular geometrical shapes and the differing colors. Here's his weird little postmodern village with funky little houses. Anyway, map making time. Let's see. Oh, and we're right on the edge. That is so unfortunate. Tell you what, since we're right on the edge, let's check the other edge as well. And we will take the one that looks better. Apparently we can't, mm, urgh, can't really do anything about it. It might be worth it to expand some of these one step so that we get a more centered image. Maybe. Yeah, that's just kind of unfortunate. Look at that. Or maybe put two maps next to each other. That might be an option to extend it so that there's, uh, in cases like this, we can put two together. That's only going to benefit certain ones, though. Let's look at the other one again. Hmm. Yeah. They're both incomplete. They're both sliced right in half. I think we'll take this one, though. Okay, this one should be fun. This is Super MC Gamer's uh, Nether Hub Tunnel, but I, I'm pretty sure this is orange wool. But for now, we'll just put it under MC Gamer's name, and in the future, I guess maybe we'll do a duplicate by Milby's name. I'm not sure. Anyway, click. What's it look like? Looks... Oh. Uh... Where are we on this thing? I can't even see. Oh, my dot's like covered by the hearts. We're way down there by the bottom. And all we can see is the brown rectangle of this thing we're standing. I don't get it. Oh, we're right on the edge. We're going south. Oh, that's why. Okay, let's make another one. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, I think we may have to expand some of these because I, I didn't think many people would have places larger than 128 by 128, but I'm wrong. A lot of people have places larger than 128 by 128. So we'll, st we'll start with these small ones, but we are going to need to expand them, that's for sure. Okay, well, let's uh, chuck that one. Which one did I have? I need to record the number. This one, 277. Okay, let's write that down and move on. And last one we'll do today, this is Pyro's house. And I actually, I have not been over here yet. This place is kind of trippy. Lots of the, uh, the snow blocks are kind of a popular building tool or building uh, block, I've noticed. Another suit. And I think that's probably because of all the snow. We've got like a third of our total continent is just snow. There's the portal. Uh, let's get right dead in the center here. I already took the coordinates, so just something like that. Please be in the middle of something. There we go. Yeah, that's not so bad. And we can see some detail there. Even though it's all white, you can sort of make out that it's a dome, more or less. And he's got sort of like a snow castle he's building here. Oh, I recognize this now. Yeah, I do remember running by this when I was making the maps and this igloo thing. I just, I never went inside the actual thing. 
All right, so let's uh, let's head back to spawn. It's funny you can see where all the torches are, the little diamonds. I guess not here because those are snow blocks actually, but everywhere else, that's pretty neat to make a pattern in the maps with torches breaking the snow cover. And back to the map room. Okay, so uh, let's see. How many did I do? One, two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is a sort of a scratch one. So I did ten out of twenty-five. Not everybody has houses. I started off doing them alphabetically, and I ended up just going from nether tunnel to nether tunnel until I had about ten of them done. So uh, I've adjusted all the colors. You may see a lot of similar colors. For instance, there's a lot of magenta. And there's a lot of lime green, uh, green, and yellow. And that is because those are the colors close by spawn. Some people haven't gone that far. So if we want to find spawn, actually, hang on. Let me do this first. Let's go and put all these back on. But if you want to find spawn, you take those two colors. The first color is the column. The second color is the row. And you can find where spawn is. And I did not put the coordinates beneath spawn as opposed to anything else because, uh, well, we're, we're, we're there. You don't need coordinates to find it. You're there. So there is spawn. Looks nice. And that map will be a little bit more legible because it's going to stretch to the edges once we get into the snapshot. Uh, but it's, it is uh, magenta and that should be magenta. Yes, magenta. Magenta and lime green. So right here, magenta, lime green. And I was still getting lag here. I will be taking these down once the video is done until we go to the snapshots. But there's spawn right there. Okay, so next is Adlington. So if you want to find Adlington, he is, I think this is pink. The stained clay colors are a little different from the wool colors, uh, but pink and orange. So pink and orange. He lives way up here. He lives close to me. I actually live in this one next ne next door, I guess, more or less. So he lives there. Uh, then we've got Anders, who is close to spawn. This is his floating island. This thing he constructed from scratch, way up in the air. That's uh, I wonder if he got that idea from our fight in Ultra Hardcore from the Lava Tower. That'd be funny. Um, probably not. <laughs> Uh, but you can see it's close to spawn. It's just one block over. So magenta and yellow. Spawn is there. Anders lives there. Then we've got Arcus. I think Arcus wins the coolest looking map. We could play like Spot the Builder with uh, these maps. I think you could maybe pick out Adlington style. And you could probably pick out Arcus's style. I mean, look at how much he's done. That's... It's crazy. And we've got B00 who lives nearby. Uh, his map doesn't look that great just because he built in snow in a snowy biome. It's just a function of the way the maps work. And then Doc M. There is the perimeter he's building and his stuff. It doesn't show up as purple. Stained clay, I guess, just kind of shows up as brown, which is unfortunate. I don't know if that is being updated in the future. Probably not, but it, that might be neat to see a, an update for a higher graphical fidelity. There's Gisano, and uh, this isn't finished. He was building a roof on it when I was there. And next, I did MC Gamer, and I, this is orange wool, but I just I'm gonna put it under MC Gamer for now, and probably do a duplicate. So uh, this is one of the ones that probably wouldn't hurt to expand it once because they have this large compound here that is kind of pretty important part of the build. This isn't really doing it justice. So in the future, once these go back up, I think I will go back out to their places for the ones that need it and expand them once. Maybe this one too, because it's on the edge. Definitely Adlington, because half of his stuff is on the other side. Um, this is like half of what he's done. Spawn won't get expanded because we're going to have a larger map on the other side. Um, Anders, I think Anders is okay. If you expanded this, you'd be able to see the whole island, but it would be too small, I think. So we'll just have to use our judgment. Uh, who is next? This, oh, th that's Pyros. 
over here. Yeah, looks nice. And I, I do think that this pattern with the torches is kind of a cool idea for the maps. And the last one I did was Vintage Beef. Yeah, this one definitely needs to be expanded. This one definitely needs to be expanded. This might be the other half right there. Is that the other half? Yeah, <laughs> that's the other half. That one definitely needs to be expanded. But let's go ahead and get that off of there. Where'd the frame go? Way over here. Okay, so I guess that's it. Um, and we will uh, we will finish off these kind of things, uh, linking everyone's map up once we get to the first snapshot and this no longer creates lag because this is kind of a big problem right now. Um, but in between then and now, we'll have other things to work on. I still have to finish off the Zen Garden out here. We still have to work on the farm building and the Death Starter Cube and anything else we decide to fiddle around with. So uh, we'll have plenty to do. And it hopefully won't be too long until we're on the snapshots and we can put this thing up in all its glory. So I guess that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you later. Take it easy. Have a good day. Bye-bye.